I think, yeah, absolutely. Uh, no, I think when you say that we do agree we need more women and you've got someone sitting here saying that we want to do this without reservation, I think that is contradictory. So, you know, I think your basic point, uh, obviously we've got to address the issue of why we need reservation in the first place. That is not taken for granted in this country, otherwise we would have brought the bill about. The problem with the mindset is the very use of the word crutch. I take strong exception to the word crutch. This is something that the current dispensation has brought into the mindset of this country where they think, where they say, oh, uh, you know, you're all elitist. Anyone who speaks up is elitist. I'm a chaiwala. That's my badge of pride. I come from a village. That's my badge of pride. It is no badge of pride. The fact that I was born into an urban family and that you might have been born into a rural family has no bearing whatsoever on this debate. That is the first thing. So please stop. You're the one who's got a mental crutch, not the rest of the country. That's the very first thing possible. It has no bearing on the fact that you'll be born into a village. It just makes you no greater a person. You bear no higher a moral platform than any of us sitting here. Who she's married to, who is immaterial, number one. And women have to stop thinking like that. That's the first. The second thing is, this is not about merit. I think half the earth and half the skies belong to us. There's no doubt about that, number one. This, what is needed here is when you see, I, I'm elected from a rural constituency. We have 33% reservation in the panchayats. Because of that, you see now we have almost 50% now. You see what we've got now is you see that you have women in most of the pradhans, half of my pradhans are going to be women. In that, even if you have 30% of them who are housewives, who are coming in because of reservation, the fact is the village and their own children and the next generation are looking at women as holding power. So even though she may be the first generation as a Pradhan, her children will grow up thinking that my mother was a Pradhan. And that's what we need in this country. That's what we need. It is not about me on merit or having gone to Mount Holyoke or me being a banker or Sushmita being a very capable lawyer. This is not what it's about. It's about the half the earth and half the skies which belong to us and which in parliament should belong to us. So that's